All right, man, just so I wanted to give you a, a picture of the street. You can see one or two older homes that are obviously you know, completely renovated, like the one next door right here. This is the place that we're talking about, and it is an attached HBR, as they call them. Really good street. Obviously, trash gets collected on Thursdays and Fridays out here. Rooftop decks, brand new bills in the last few years. I remember showing a house around the corner here probably two years ago and these, you know, that house, the gray one didn't even exist at that point. And this behemoth right beside it as well. I think I showed that two, three years ago also. Beautiful house. That was like 700 two years ago. It's probably 1.1 now. Anyway, getting back into the inside. You got your nice little front porch, hardwood floors, not too dark. That's always a good thing. Uh, right here, this will be your living room area because it's an open plan. So you have some uh, farmhouse shutters uh, already installed and then some built-ins here for entertainment and whatnot. Nice wooden stairs. Uh, kitchen is great. You know, obviously white off gray, two-tone, modern, stainless. Um, you do have gas here, which is a huge selling point in Nashville. It's a foodie town. Um, good cabinets. These look like they're probably Ikea or something like that. Um, but you can kind of see here where the house just needs some, uh, you know, some cleaning up. Inside of shelves probably doesn't matter that much, but just needs some cleaning here and there. Um, but that's, you know, not hard stuff. I don't see anything that needs to be repaired, at least so far. So this hallway takes you down behind the kitchen to the master. That's a huge... Uh, Bonus as far as resale, you want your master on the main level for sure. Here's a mudroom that kind of goes back out to the uh, wraparound deck out back. Uh, the house is all hardy board, so a good amount of space in here and some built in shelves. Let's take you outside. There you go, your neighbor's got a nice big deck right beside it and some bullshit underneath it, but whatever. So you walk around here. So you actually have a covered portion of the deck, which is right off of the master. You can go in and out of the master to this portion. And then an uncovered portion for those sunny days. This needs a power wash. It's just that slippery dirt, you know what I mean? Uh, this also goes right down some steps. You can kind of see into the neighbors on this portion of it. Um, but yeah, all fenced in, backyard. And it's a shitty day today, so um, I'm not seeing huge puddles or anything like that, which is a good, good sign at least. All right, let me take you back in to living room, kitchen, open plan. All right, so right behind the kitchen is a half bath with a closet, light fixture, mirror, the usual. And then you start going into the master suite. You have all built-ins. Nice, good-sized walk-in closet. That's a good deal. Um, obviously, you're seeing here uh, good fixtures, you know, more modern style, uh, two-tone doors. They're not the eight-foot like in Natchez, but still quite nice. Um, regular light switches so this is your master it's probably 15 by 16 16 long 15 wide from this perspective um really good sized tile shower with a rain shower um you know something that's quite sought after and actually rare enough because it's five years old and not two or three years old you have a tub that people aren't really doing tubs these days but it's actually quite nice because they're hard to get these days. Double vans. These are marble countertops. Or looks like uh, quartz, excuse me, quartz countertops. So pretty good size for one of these skinny homes, you know. All right, let's take you upstairs. Haven't been upstairs yet. There's a closet underneath the stairs for coats and whatnot. Light fixtures are nice and fancy. You've got some built-in 
surround sound speakers here. One, two, three, and four. And I'm sure they terminate. Here's the fifth one for the center. Yeah, all that stuff is gonna be in here. There we go. So, surround sound wired. They might even leave the stereo. Um, I did notice there was a volume control in the master, so there may be a speaker in there too. I just wasn't sure I noticed it. All right, up the stairs, all hardwoods. Second level. Oh, this is cool. All right, let me get some lights on for you. All hardwoods up here. Still got those farmhouse shutters. Man, they're like 20 grand to install, so that's pretty cool. Um, again, with the surround sound, one, two, three, four. I'm sure there's a fifth in this console here. But really good size bonus room. So that's pretty cool. For the demographic you're gonna want in this place, the bonus room, the younger guys, all of that kind of shit, this is cool. Because location is gonna be, you know, those guys that don't have kids or maybe young couples and they just wanna be able to walk to the bars and restaurants, you know? Um, all right, let's see. Really high ceilings in here. I don't know if you can see it from the phone, kind of hard, but they're all vaulted. Uh, surround sound, why not? So you've got a pull down, attic storage. Every attic is the same, more or less. All right, to the left, bedroom number two. Actually a pretty good size. I don't know if you can really see from the phone, but again, about as maybe 16, maybe 15 in length to those windows, and then maybe 12 wide, so not super wide, but at least you do have a pretty good sized closet with some built-ins. Let's see. Uh, Okay, now, bedroom two has a bath to the hallway and to the bedroom. So let's go through the bedroom first. Really nice vaulted ceilings in here. In fact, this, would, this might be what somebody would want to do for their master if they wanted their master upstairs. It's a little bit bigger than the downstairs bedroom. Um, but if you're talking like a roommate situation. We'll master down, master up. Everybody's paying the same. It's ideal. Got the walk-in closet. And then this bathroom is connected to the bedroom, but also the hallway. So it's like a Jack and Jill. Um, double vanities, quartz countertops, just darker. Different color scheme in here. You know, good light fixtures and everything. It's pretty clean. It's just you know, little things like this. That looks like a little bit of moisture has come out from them just having a shower curtain and whatnot. You know, that needs to be repainted. But you can kind of see along the baseboards, just dust. It's definitely, I wouldn't call it dirty. It's just, it needs to be cleaned up. Um, which, you know, Natchez really didn't need to be cleaned up. So that's the difference. Nice corner windows. That's it, man. That is everything inside. Um, I can obviously pull up all the details about how old the roof is and whatnot, but it's just not an old home at all in any way. Good amount of space. Not as much as Natchez, but still, man, in this area, I think you could pull four out of this bad boy because people love 12 South. All right, man, take it easy, bye.